everybody and uh, welcome back to the podcast. This is podcast number two of the Forever Young Club and today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the 30 day challenge. Yes because it is coming up very soon. It's coming up on Saturday and we're here to help you and to get the most out of it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, you know go through the three articles on the 30 day moving challenge. Article 10, if I just may go into it, will add years to your life and life to your years. Now I'm here with my good friend uh, Jim Kerwin who has written The Exercise Factor, one of America's best-selling books, have been on televisions all around the States and uh, we're going to be working together in bringing to you this 30-day challenge and this is the start of your Forever Young journey. Now the first um, article we're going to talk about and we're going to go through is uh, article 10 about adding years to your life and there's nine actions in relation to this. It's about nutrition, physical activity, it's about sleep, hydration, healthy weight and then on top of that we have reduced stress, supplements, uh, managing your health and indeed smoking. So in relation to this, you know, what I will tell you, and you know, this is very factual, is what I will tell you is that you have the power, yes, you have the power to add years to your life and life to your years. Now, we'll be using this uh, study and challenge, right, okay, to help us to get an insight on you, you know, and it's also about die young when you die. And you know we're all going to die, but it's, a, it's an actual fact, the way that we're going to actually exit this world. So in Article 2, uh, Jim will go through how to stay active while working at home, or indeed at work. And Jim, can you take it over from there and actually explain to them? So you've covered Article 10, so Article 11 and 12 are actually the same article, just divided into two parts. In the first part, we're really setting up this moving challenge to explain what we mean by physical activity. And we're talking about exercise and moving. Really important, two different things, very much related. We actually talk about what an active couch potato is, and I'm not going to explain it here. I think you need to go to the article or the video so you can understand what an active couch potato is and whether you're one or not. Um, we talk briefly about the benefits of both moving and exercise and look we want you to succeed in this so we talk a little bit about your motivation to succeed um, and, and that's what the challenge is really all about it's to help you guys to get through your 30 days so article 12 kind of moves on where we provide six key actions for success. And the challenge will actually be built around these six key actions. And, and they're, very, they're very important. Yeah, and you'll be very familiar with, be, yeah. with, with, with this kind of stuff. And the first one is? The first one is fail to plan and you plan, plan to, to fail. fail. Plan to then fail. there's the SMART goals, right? SMART goals. Okay, okay, you fire so away the SMART is, is an acronym for um, w the ingredients, if you like, of successful goal setting. So S is for specific. Your goal needs to be specific. M is measurable. A is accountable. You need to be accountable for your goals. Um, or is realistic. Whatever goal you set, really realistic. So if you think about the challenge, and we'll come to it in a while, it's very important that you pick the right level for your current level of activity so that your goals for the 30 days are realistic. And then T is that they're timed. And of course the challenge is 30 days. So we're kind of adhering to the concept of SMART throughout the challenge. So yeah. that's the second one. And I think then there's the execution of the plan. If you have a plan and you know you have to have that plan to be able to go for it. Yeah. And we have all that set out and there's downloadables in the you know the 30 day challenge uh, booklet that you can download that's right we've set everybody up for success if you follow the the journal that were uh, that you've already got you will succeed do what we tell you to do and after 30 days you're going to be looking back and going 
But you know, Jim, one of the most important aspects in relation to this challenge, and any challenges that I ever do, it's about accountability. It's about your accountability in relation to actually carrying what you want out. And remember, you signed up to this. This is free. This is our gift to you in relation to your journey. So please be accountable if it's a case you want to achieve these. Now, this is just the, uh, the first in a series of many cha challenges for many different people from, the, you know, you could say the couch potato right up into the elite athlete mm -hmm. at a later stage and just to just time, time yeah just to, just before we leave accountability while each individual is accountable we're going to make you accountable too so we're going to hold you accountable and help you along the way yeah and i, I the other side of it is about allocating your time time yeah. management in anything that you yeah. want to do you know in any area from starter to you know uh, in between to becoming uh, top of the range, right? It's all about time management. Yeah. And we will, we will actually deal with the, how you can time manage this as well. And remember, this is the start of your forever young journey. Mm -hmm. You know, lots of stuff good to come. Mm -hmm. And can you can you talk about time and time yeah, management? So in, in the article, I, I specifically zone in on killing two birds with one stone. And if you think about it, that's really very good for managing your time. So say, for example, you're working at home, you're busy, and a call comes in from your boss or a colleague or whatever it is. So don't just sit at your desk to answer the phone. Stand up and walk around. Go out to the garden. Wherever you are, try and kill two birds with one stone. You're answering the phone, dealing with your boss. You're going for a little walk, getting some moving, getting some activity. And if you can kind of do those things, this is going to be really successful for you. Yeah, Jim, time management is very important. And we're there to help you in relation to this as well. But you know more than that. And this is the one thing I found from my whole career is that no matter what you're doing, no matter what level you're doing it, it has to be fun. Fun. It's all about fun. And yeah. you know, our thing is, you know, in relation to the grouping we're dealing with, is to lead a healthy, more sustainable lifestyle so that you can enjoy doing things that you may never have thought you can ha and have and will do for the future. Yeah. So the results of all of this, if it's a case that it works for you, is that you're on the start of your journey. And as I said, it is free, totally free. And uh, it is to improve. Your physical physical mental health. Okay. I mean, if you, if you actually do what we ask you to do in this challenge, you're going to feel better at the end of 30 days. And it will have positive benefits for your physical health and your mental health. That's a huge dividend. 30 days is a short time, but it's long enough to see changes. And that's what I guess the challenge is all about as well. Yeah. A an interesting byproduct, Pat, will be that pe if people are working at home, and, and I think a lot and even of people- work, by the way, like this will actually work for home and work, but okay, you yeah, for but it will actually help them improve their performance. They'll become more effective in their job. They'll become more effective at what you do. You'll be more productive. You know, spending 50 minutes with, and then a 10 minute break and then 50 minutes is better than spending two hours at the same time, you know, getting fed up and getting sore and a sore back and all of that. So it's really important to break up your day, um, do your moving, do your exercise, and you're going to be more productive. And you know, it's one of the many phone calls that we get. It's about the fact of actually people actually overstressed at the moment. Our whole, you know, emphasis on this and everything we do within the Forever Young Club is to actually, as well as that, to get you working well, but it's to, in relation to your mental mind, in relation to what you can do for the future. I have people ringing me up and they're in their 40s and asking me, are they too old to do certain things? Yeah. This is what we want to try to. Yeah. And then there's uh, organization and performance. Yeah, so, so like this is a win-win. This is a, yeah. there's a double win for you. It helps your health, it helps your work performance, but there's a win for your organization too, because their performance will improve if their collective employees are improving their performance. So everybody wins. And if you're young, I don't know, if you're still interested in career development and uh, career progression, it could actually help your career. 
most people in their 50s and over are probably not too much thinking about that. But younger people who might be watching this, it's going to help your career opportunities too. Well, let me tell you, the challenge starts on Saturday and we are here to help. So when you find your article or download your uh, booklet, you know, just ring up or email us at any stage along the way, you know, for help from this. Um, you know, if you look at the fact of um, the primary objectives that we have is focus, moving and walking. Yeah. Secondary? Yeah. Well, we decided because our primary focus is on physical activity that some people might like to focus on something else. Like, for example, maybe you want to lose a few pounds or maybe you want to... We've talked about sugar in the past. Maybe you want to reduce the amount of sugar. So you might build a secondary objective into your personal challenge. It's optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. You can stick with the plan of moving and exercise, moving and walking. But if you do want to build a secondary objective, you're very welcome and we'll do everything we can to help you. And you know what? And what we've done is for you is we've included three different levels on this particular challenge. And if you, if you we, we can go through it right okay yeah. level one yeah. uh, which you see on the chart here is um, you know it, it, it can start right from the beginning from someone that does very little mm. and if you look at what you're seeing here it's like it, it is to build it up to move to 3,000 steps a day and to walk 6,000 and like the highest amount like is 19,000 so it's very doable if you're coming from a couch potato you know and you know improve yourself and then you can move up the levels yeah. it doesn't matter where you are or if it's, you're in the next level the next level is level two yeah, yeah. you know so if you look at level two jim you you, you take this one yes. away. so i mean what this is really all about is trying to identify which is the most appropriate level for you given your current level of fitness and preparation and also maybe taking into account how busy you are and how much time you've got. So for example if you're incredibly busy you don't have a lot of time you'd normally be able to do level three but you can't this time around so you might go for level two. So level two is the sort of intermediate level. It's, it's more advanced than level one but it's not as advanced as level three. And, you know, the information is there for you to, to sort of figure out which is most appropriate for you. But what I'll say to you is, again, if you start on day one and work your way gradually and progressively through the goals that we set for you, with respect to both exercise, walking and moving, and then if you wanted to have some secondary objective as well, you're going to make a significant change over 30 days. Like it's going to be huge for you. And um, you're going to look back and go, wow, this was fantastic. So really encourage you to look and choose at the right level um, so level three then is the, level most three is the most advanced and the most advanced by the way is if you look at it you know throughout your journey as a forever young member it's all about getting fit enough to say that you can do what you want to do so if you start at level one you can go to level two if you go to level two you can go to level three and indeed by the time you get to level three let me assure you this in relation to what you want to do adventure wise worldwide this is a level which you can begin on and it, it, it will enhance you to become part of our seminars our webinars our you know like which are live and hopefully we will our be retreats. live on our retreats all around the world <laughs> and we have them to africa and things like that so but it's all a matter of building up and that when you do you will enjoy it right yeah. so i think what we have is the, the next slide yeah. is actually this walking test. So yeah. if, if the previous slide that we put up there where there are three options, if you're still trying to find it, you're finding it hard to decide which is the right level for you, you could go out and do a one kilometer walk on you know, whenever, tomorrow or the next day, and just time yourself. What you would normally do is not a race, just go out and see how long it takes you to, to walk one kilometer. This will be the guide. So if you are walking somewhere between 14 and 20 minutes per kilometer, you're level one. If you're in the 12 to 13 category, you're probably level two. And if you're in the nine to a level, which is to 11, which is pretty fast, then you are level three. If you're able to walk faster than nine, 
you probably don't need to do this particular challenge, but we would love to have you involved and we'd love to hear from you and maybe we could even get some advice from you. And if you're old fashioned like me and you're still into miles, having worked in, <laughs> having worked in America, in America yeah. for a long yeah. time, we, we have we had the, the, the miles there so you can sort of... Yeah, I keep, I get, I keep getting <laughs> caught on that in lectures and when I'm in America, like I keep on talking about right. kilometers now. Yeah. So you have it in on both sides, no matter what part of the divide you're from all around the world yeah. and mm. then we have the worksheet and just download the worksheet mm. uh, it's you know like in, in our coaching aspect of this right okay remember you have a responsibility yourself to be able to you know take on these challenges uh, so download the worksheet is which we have it up here <laughs> like you know it's just there at the moment there's no need to be looking at it take it down this is here for to help you and you can contact us again we also have a poster that you can download and yeah. you can yeah yeah i mean there are three there are actually basically what we've said the way it's set up is there are three challenge what we call plans so there's a plan for each person so but you have to know are you level one level two or level three so the first kind of worksheet is the goals. The second one is the actual. So you will be able to record on a daily basis as you go through the challenge, what you actually did, and then compare it to your goals. And hopefully on most days, you'll be actually beating your goal or achieving your goal. And very few days you, 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 you'd fail. Uh, but we've also, uh, as Pat said, we have a poster. Um, it's in the appendix, it's on the screen right now. It's also the cover of the, um, of the journal. And if you were to print that out, you could put it up in your fridge or in your bathroom or wherever you fancy, but it'll remind you every single day during the 30 days that you're doing this challenge and that you've got a goal and that you're going to do it and hopefully that you've done it and you'll be ticking off each, each day, yes, 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 have a glass of wine, have some dark chocolate, celebration, have fun, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, just, just okay. go for it. And in, in relation to all of that, now you're wondering, we've got to our level. What's next? And if it's a case you want to continue, you can actually join our Founder Members Club, which will actually take you to levels that you could never have imagined. It will take you on a journey of a lifetime to dream, to dare, to do, and to achieve with, by the way, a tribe of people that are, have similar mindsets. And as we form this, the Forever Young Club, do you know that you are only equivalent to the five people that you hang around with? So hang around with this tribe and you will move your life forward. And as we say, there is an option, if it's a case you're on the website and you want to join, uh, the founder members, you can do that as well. We're, 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 we'll be shooting this out worldwide, but it won't be you know, at the same level and pricing as we have it now. But this one is totally free. Mm -hmm. We're here to help you to actually enhance your life. And um, other than that, Jim, is there anything else you want to say because we'll finish it here? Yeah, just uh, in relation to that founder membership and why would you choose to do that now rather than later? Well, there's one simple reason, and that is that we will be giving people who sign up coaching, personal coaching during the 30 day moving challenge. And obviously once the challenge is over, that particular bonus, if you like, of founder membership will be gone. So if you, for example, wanted to uh, set up a secondary personal objective in addition to the, the primary ones, whatever it might be, we would help you with that and give you some personal coaching. Uh, so that's a reason why. Uh, but it's up to you, it's your call. So please, we have actually put this 30 day challenge on for you. If it's a case that you can, uh, you know, just continue through it and see how you are. And for now, it's Jim Kerwin and okay. Pat Falvey from the Mountain Lodge here in Kerry, you know, at this stage saying socially distanced. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the challenge. So on that note, you know, go for it if it's a can. Remember, you and you only have the power to achieve your goals, your dreams in life, and let this be the start of your journey and join our tribe. And it is namaste. Thank you.